I'm going to show you how to use your iPod as an external hard drive. Um, the first thing you want to do is plug your iPod into your computer and open iTunes. As soon as iTunes opens, go ahead and select your iPod from the side menu bar and scroll down to the bottom of the summary tab. When you get to the bottom, you'll see under the options, the last option is enable disk use. Go ahead and click that and accept this warning and click apply. Your iTunes will start syncing with your iPod and apply the settings. Once you've applied that setting, you can go ahead and quit iTunes and you will be able to see your iPod in your disk utility. You can open Disk Utility by searching in Spotlight, Disk Utility, or going to your Utility folders in Finder. Once you open Disk Utility, you'll see your iPod right here, 4.6 gigabyte Apple iPod. It's my iPod. Um, you can see it's set up to be an external hard drive. If you want to add files to your iPod, you can go to Finder and go to your computer and open iPod. I'll go ahead and create a test file to put in your iPod. I'm going to f save this file to my desktop. Go ahead and save that. And I'm going to drag this file into my iPod. Now my iPod is acting like a large USB device. You can carry this file and unload it on any other Mac since this iPod is formatted for Mac. If you cannot reach your iPod from Finder, you can go back into Disk Utility, let it load, and select your device. Right click it and say Reveal My iPod in Finder or Open My iPod. You'll be able to see all the files inside and add and remove files as you please.